Hey kids, another episode from Brilliant's Laboratories How To series. This is leather. This is a rotary cutter in an unsafe, uh, safe manner. And this is a ruler and this is tape. What are we doing today? I have the need to make leather strapping material 17 millimeters wide. And in order for me to achieve a good even cut every single time, I would measure right over here. And you mark off where 17 millimeters would be. Just a little niche, that's all you need. And find your 17 millimeter mark once again. Get yourself right on that mark and make the second score. We line it up. You take and you put your blade down on your leather, hit the ruler to the edge of your rotary cutting tool, and nudge up to where your mark is. Now take away the cutting tool, make it safe again. You're like, what are you doing with the blue tape? You'll notice that it's cut square over here. I like using my cutting mat and my rotary cutting tool to cut any kind of tape. That's my dishwasher in the back going, turn me back on. If you have the space, leave your, your tape like this or double over it on the top. It's a lot easier than just picking away at it with your fingernail. What you do with the tape. And this is gonna be a little lip right here. Put your fingernail there and adhere the ruler to your leather. Now, usually if you do this without the tape, that ruler is gonna wander. I don't care who you are. This cork on the back of that and this leather isn't exactly, you know, grippy. And my squeaky table. There's just a little bit at the end there. I will guarantee you, I did not get an even cut here, but the, the technique is what we're looking for. So we know that rotary tools over time get dull, as, as is evident by the fact that we're still stuck right here. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Boom. Narrower here than here, because I wasn't meticulous with my second measurement. So, because I was meticulous with my, my second measurement on a previous example, we undo the ruler, we flip this over, line it up against the edge, gently feel where it is on both top and bottom. And you're ready to go again. I'm pressing harder this time, because the mat can take it. Your fingers, however, can't. When you approach your forefinger, just move it. Move it out of the way. Once you're done with all of that, it has no dyed edge on it. There you go. You find this at leather stores and whatnot. And one of these. It's a foam paintbrush. So I've taken several of my strips and I've used binder clips to put them all together. Dip, dip, wipe, and it will be done. And also, when you do this, you, you put all of your straps down on the counter. Can you see this? Uh, over here. Put them straight down, then you put the, faint, the, the, the clips on. This will also tell you exactly how inaccurate you were. See, there's a little narrow and wide. There's one in here, second one in. It probably, yeah, it's okay. It's going to be a small detail in a larger project. No one's going to say, you're off by one millimeter. And I'll see you next time. Shut up, dishwasher. Jeez.